Hello again everyone, uh, my name is Yuri and uh, this is part 5 of uh, writing social networking Go and uh, this uh, episode uh, we will try to add uh, proper user registration and uh, f user friends with uh, access checks so uh, you can only talk to your friends and uh, see events from your friends but not all users okay so let's start first I would like to show you that uh, I have done so I added a little icon <laughs> uh, that shows uh, whether or not you are connected and I made some changes to the terminal so we can stop the server now and uh, the icon goes red as you can see so we start the server again and uh, it becomes green so everything is uh, working properly it will help us uh, debug some strange problems that uh, can be caused by uh, browsers not having connectivity to each other and to the server because uh, my implementation is uh, pretty simple and uh, it's not as robust as it should be maybe okay so let's start uh, first we need to add uh, proper user registration so that uh, you can not only log in but uh, actually register as well so let's start doing this would probably need something like new location that uh, is currently not served by anyone but uh, we could improve it so index handler uh, we should actually ha uh, get uh, 404 so okay uh, for now it's okay uh, I think um, for registration we need to uh, register handler uh, so there is none of course but the server uh, should not uh, should be up and running if build fails because uh, it is already running so there is no need to uh, terminate it if build fails so obviously uh, the reason why it failed is that uh, there is no regist register handler so we would probably add one and handlers uh, probably probably accept something <laughs> some arguments so here they are uh, so oh yeah, that's strange a little bit. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, it is uh, Go imports that is running uh, in background. Maybe I will uh, turn it off. What I'm not sure. So. Uh, what we need to do is uh, to make some make page like this so we would make like register HTML we will add these files manually so social network register we don't need any JavaScript here and uh, We'll need a backlink. 
So we'll do this. Do register. So we need an email, password and uh, repeat password and register. Oh, and maybe uh, maybe our users have names. Yes, they do have names. So when uh, people register, they should provide their name as well. There will be nothing because uh, we didn't render this template, so we would need to do this. It's index handler. Let's serve static file with the register HTML. So yeah, it's pretty ugly to be honest. So let's try to do something about it maybe. Oh yeah, it's ugly, sorry. Uh we should do something about it. So table. The simplest thing is to do tables, but uh, they are not as uh cool is the word that you use. Uh, but it works, so we'll do this. We'll make a table. So name and email. Email. Password. So it would be input type of equals password. Repeat password and submit. Okay, so maybe a, a regist register button would be there. So repeat password, uh, password, password two. Uh, so. Yeah, that looks uh, a little bit better. Not uh, not really cool, but uh, it works. We do not uh, need to be really uh, There is no goal uh to make it too pretty because uh anyway it's just a demo. And uh, when you uh, make a real website, you will have a good design and uh, you will probably uh, have dedicated uh, uh, people who do layout. So we just need to make uh, some framework that works and then uh, some other people could improve it and uh, make it pretty but uh, we need to make it functional so that's how it's going to work okay so Yuri uh, a name is uh, I don't know so we need to register new user which would have we can uh, like Firefox at Mozilla org Password would be one two three, and uh, the one thing that is left to do is actually do <laughs> the registration. Uh, so we need to write do register handler. So it would be like a login handler, I think. So we would just copy login handler and see what's the difference. Uh, so where is it? Yeah. So it would be do register handler. 
Okay, so do register handler. Uh, we need to pass pass form. Then get name, email, password. Uh, use a password too. Yes, uh, that's all. Yeah, no new variables, but no, it's <laughs> incorrect. So it's not login statement. It's uh, it would be a register user statement. And it should be initialized in in its statements. So um, re register statement insert. So it's uh, pretty simple. Insert into user. Uh, MySQL allows us to write in a different manner, but we will probably not use it now. Uh, so, insert into user, and uh, user has fields, uh, uh, has you fields email, password, and name. So, it's not email select, it's uh, user register statement uh, yeah so uh, we should return then return to our do register handler so if email equals if name equals empty string or email uh, so I I think that uh, I should disable the watcher file watcher go import so it doesn't work properly sadly so we won't have automatic formatting even though it is pretty good okay so uh, if If something is empty, then uh, we will write an error about that. You must provide values for all the fields. So ID is the insert ID that uh, we're going to get. Uh, which is not uh, really important for users, so we will skip this. Okay, so first thing is that uh, if user password uh, doesn't equal to user password 2, then obviously uh, passwords do not match. And everything else is fine because uh, we're not going to check an email uh, in registration, so a person could uh, specify anything he wants. And we will not log in uh, our user automatically because uh, it would require writing some code and it's not necessary for it to work. So it, uh, it would be uh, we should execute this. What's wrong? Correct variable decoration. Okay. Uh, execute should return result and error. Ah, okay. So, what is it? It is email password name. 
Okay, so email password hash from user password. and username so if error is not nil then if error equals error transaction done error no rolls so there is actually no way to determine which uh, uh, which uh, error occurred. So uh, there are two things that we can do. Uh, so probably we will just check like something like check login statement uh, that we will use uh, to check if uh, oh actually yeah there is no no need to do this because we can actually just check uh, if uh, there are any rows that uh, um, belong to our user so um, we could login statement So it would be ID, password, and name. And actually, we don't need to don't need to do anything. We're not going to scan it. So if it is no rolls, then we say that. Uh, if it's not equals to <laughs> so so uh, I think that we need a separate query uh, sorry <coughs> sorry uh, so we need a separate query uh, check check login check email statement that would just return whether or not there is a user with this email so if there is then uh, it would return one and then if there is not so it will return nothing sorry so we would create oh no not global constant but uh, global variable Yes, well, this would be scale statement. So we select count count star from user. So if we cannot insert, okay, uh, let's let's remove this. If we cannot insert, uh, then there could be two reasons: that it is our issue, and that uh, this email is already taken. So, uh, we could just uh, look uh, at the documentation of uh, GoSQL driver, um, and see maybe. Uh, and see maybe there is uh, a way to to get this so requirements installation usage parameters examples well that's a lock on file so 
So I don't see any way how uh, we could get an error, but so we can just test it. So let's see. Uh, we could print. We could just print an error and see what it gets, what it gives us. So if everything is okay, then uh, we just uh, uh, say that uh, everything is okay. And suggest to try to log in. Okay, so let's let's see how it works. Success. Go to login page. Oh, uh, probably we should write some headers, like content type. <laughs> mm. It would be text HTML. And UTF-8 chars it. So it seems that we have been registered. So it would be Firefox, Mozilla Org, password 123. And uh, it works. Strangely, it works. But uh, there are some strange uh, issues that, uh, for example, Firefox didn't log out properly. And we had to. Uh, So we had to uh, reload our browser. So let's let's see if it stays. No, uh, Firefox has some strange issues, and he doesn't report. Probably it doesn't report when it exits, or something else happens. I don't know. To be honest, we'll have to investigate. So um, okay, we now have a registration. So log into is Firefox and Firefox at Mozilla org. We log in. Yeah, remember password. Uh, we log in as Firefox two, and everyone sees Firefox two. Yeah, okay. So it's good. So here is our registration, and we should see the new yes the new entry uh, for. Firefox, Firefox 2, and the password is the same, so it has the the same hashes. So, okay. We could try this uh, again. And delete this user. So, let's try again. We are Firefox 2. We have Firefox at Mozilla Org. Password is 123. Okay, let's set it 1234 to be different. Yes, update password and uh, success. Go to login page. And now we log in. Yes, and everything works fine. So, yeah. User lists are in sync and everything is okay. So here is our user registration. Uh, let's do something. Oh, we didn't test uh, that. What happens if passwords do not match? Let's test this. So we log out. Register. Yeah, let's try. Yeah, we didn't provide values. One, two, three, four. That's what I wrote there. So it would tell us that passwords do not, do not match. Yeah, so it didn't register new users. We should, of course, confirm that. Oh, yeah, and so uh, we should also check what happens when you try to register 
uh, user the second time. Yeah, I forgot to do this. So it said the success. <laughs> yeah, that's good. We didn't have we didn't have proper key. Yeah, we got two users. Oh yeah, that's bad. Uh, so <laughs> we should uh, delete the the second row and uh, change uh, the key. So associated primary key. No, so table editor. No. Yeah, drop index email. So we should add index on email and it is unique. And that's how we uh, ensure that uh, two users do not um, end up having uh, the same email. So let's try this again. So it's Firefox 2, Firefox Mozilla Org, 1234. Yeah, so duplicate entry for key email index. So uh, that's uh, the error that we got. So we also should uh, print the type of error and see what it what it actually is. Yeah, we resend. It's MySQL, MySQL error. Yeah, okay, so um, we could try this. So if so if my error is error and uh, this type, if it has this type, yeah, this is MySQL driver MySQL. But see, it is already imported. We should just uh, remove the underscore. So if it is. Yeah, if it is uh, of type MySQL error, then we should use it. Uh, otherwise, we just uh, tell our user that uh, something is wrong and we uh, log uh, could not register user. It doesn't want to to see that I have updated it. Oh, okay, it's so that. So we <coughs> write to user that uh, uh, the just uh, sorry internal error occurred while trying to register. To register your user. If my error number equals one oh two six two, which is duplicate entry, then we say that uh, what's wrong? Um, the user with uh, specified email already exists. If we get duplicate key, we say that user already exists and uh, anything else uh, actually should be here. So
and uh, we don't log uh, this issue when uh, we get duplicate key and in any other case we should do this so okay let's try it let's resend the query yeah and we get uh, an error that uh, user already exists so if we try Firefox 3 And everything is fine. So, and uh, just to try this, uh, let's shut down my SQL server and try to register. So, it would be Firefox 2, Firefox at Mozilla Org, 1, 2, 3, 4, and yes, we couldn't. <laughs> We could make a query, so mm, problem is that uh, it was invalid connection. So um, it is a fatal error because uh, it is a fatal error for our application that we couldn't prepare uh, the query because uh, of uh, MySQL server. Uh, we. In theory, we actually could uh, serve requests, but we do not. So let's start the server again. Okay, let's see. Okay, here we are. Uh, so it correctly uh, logs errors and uh, everything is fine as far as I can see. Yes, and uh, we log this error as well. Okay, so now it works. Now it really works. And let's log in. Uh, login back and we are Firefox 2 everything is fine okay so the next thing that uh, we should do is uh, we should add friends uh, because uh, at the moment we can send messages to anyone at least uh, who is online so Firefox uh, 1 is not online at the moment but it will be shortly so uh, that's not <laughs> that's not too easy to uh, open two mm, two tabs with uh, different Logins, but we'll try to do this. So we need to log out here and uh, log in as other user. And uh, you can see that we have two tabs, but if we refresh it, uh, then uh, we'll, we'll be logged in as uh, one user. So it doesn't really work too well. What we could do is, uh, for example, open incognito window or uh, incognito tab only. I don't know if it is possible. So let's not do this. Um, it is possible to log in with different users, but uh, it's tricky. So let's not do this. We'll have three users. It's enough. Um, so people, uh, our users uh, should have friends and they should only see their friends. So how we do this? First we, sorry, so first we add the new um, link that would be friends. So friends link. Uh, 
uh, then add new div so it would be friends and so uh, I don't know what the contents will be so I'll leave them as is now so I need to also change the styles a little bit so that they do not show up okay maybe we just hide hide all yeah tabs length yeah so we have tabs uh, friends let's check if it works so friends this tab should not be showing Yeah, and when we do a request, uh, then uh, the page refreshes. Uh, so that's not really what we need, because of course we need to just uh, change current tab and uh, that's all. So I don't remember how it works, so we should probably find out it together. So set up messages page would be that uh, we change location, show current. Okay, so it's pretty simple. We need to add new JavaScript file. Set up friends pane. would be friends link and we change location to friends I'm sorry so messages pane yeah doesn't seem to work uh, maybe friends link yeah so we have friends link we don't change location title and uh, URL show current I don't know why it doesn't work to be honest Safari lost connection or no restored connection okay so friends are not showing for some reason um, div class friends ID is friends okay so let's first log that uh, we actually uh, click the friends link so and we used to f ah, set up friends pages on defined okay so it's it's pretty simple we just did not uh, include the JavaScript that is required so friends friends JS So they are friends. <laughs> so there are friends and uh, yes, Safari and Chrome appeared. Everything is fine. Okay, so friends. Uh, first, we would probably need to create a new table that we will call friends. 
of course friend and spell it properly so it would have uh, of course ID default doesn't have any value it's primary then uh, let me think so uh, we should uh, be able to uh, store and find and uh, find friends of uh, our user and uh, and that's it <laughs> so uh, and friends are mutual so uh, we could just uh, say like user ID and uh, which would be user ID begin yeah, be, uh, which would be user ID uh, of uh, which we have a friend mm, no it's uh, <laughs> too complicated so uh, user ID would be the indexed field um, that uh, will say that uh, this is the user uh, that we are working with now and uh, when we select uh, from this user ID okay so friend user ID so it should be more obvious now so when we want to find uh, friends of some user we just select uh, friend user IDs from uh, this table where user ID is uh, the one that we need and if we want to find all the friends of uh, that user uh, we do the same so when someone adds us to friends or when we add someone to friends we should add two entries that uh, we we have uh, the friend user ID well, for example our user ID is 1 and friend user ID is 2 so we add two entries that's user ID 1 equal, uh, has user ID 1 has friend user ID 2 and that's user ID 2 has us as a friend so it would be two entries okay I hope uh, it was pretty yeah it's uh, we should uh, we should um, edit something modify column yes and it's unsigned okay I'll alter table friend modify column so idea I don't know why this interface doesn't uh, show this to us uh, but it is unsigned begin Okay, so we we still need to add index for this column. So user ID is our index. Okay, and we'll solve our problems later. But user IDs are begin, so we ha we can have a lot of them. And actually, yeah. <laughs> Uh, in this table, it is not uh, int. It's uh, begin. It's not begin. It's it just int, and it's strange. So it should be begin unsigned. And here it should be begin unsigned. And this should be 
make it int unsigned. Okay, so we have primary. It's in messages. Uh, in messages, we also do not have uh, the correct types, so it would be big int. Mm, big int is different from int. So, mm, uh, in that uh, it can store more than uh, 2 billion uh, IDs. So when we have a uh, very big uh, social network that would have billions of users, uh, then uh, we could uh, have a problem that our data types uh, cannot uh, have so many users and we will have to do painful refactoring uh, replacing ints to begins everywhere so we should probably do it now because uh, it is much easier to do it now than it would be in uh, at this at the moment when our uh, cool social network becomes so big that uh, we'll have uh, problems with uh, with the uh, 32-bit ints. So, and actually it is unsigned of course. Yes. So it works uh, now friends. Uh, we could add uh, some simple interface first and then uh, modify it. So let's add some friends. Excuse me. So for example, um, I, I am Firefox and I want to be a friend with Safari. So Firefox is user ID 3 and Safari is user ID 1. So we will add two entries. User ID 3 is us and friend user ID is 1. The second entry would be the opposite. Okay, so hmm. I didn't save the second one. Okay, uh, so duplicate duplicate entry zero for key primary. Ah, okay, so probably. somehow forgot to add auto increment but now it should work so it is ID 1 and uh, second would be 1 and 3 so we have two entries uh, Firefox has uh, friends is friends with uh, Safari and uh, vice versa. So three and one are friends. Uh, so in friends class we should probably uh, like friend, <laughs> have friend and uh, this would be friend one. And um, mm, we should also have uh, some uh, button to add new friend.
and a uh, user would uh, need to do something <laughs> with it. Okay, let's see. So, mm, yes. So it's uh, friend one. It's, this button doesn't uh, do anything. Um, I'm not sure that we will have any styles for that, but uh, let's try it. So, so, for example, border bottom pixel gray solid. I don't know. So, yeah. Here is <laughs> here it is. Mm. So the button at new friend should do anything, uh, should do something, and uh, it should uh, show us, should no, it, it doesn't work this way. Um, you have uh, in real social networks, you don't have this. Yeah. You don't have this. You have uh, just users, users list, and you can add a friend. So we should do the same. So we'll put uh, it into friends at the moment. So friends page would be users page as well. But it would be separate. Uh, it would be separate pages, but um, it would be contained in one JavaScript file. So users, we even don't have the div that is called users, so we should create it. And so user list item, user one. Yeah, it works. So not all browsers want to connect immediately, but eventually they do so okay id equals users duplicate id reference oh okay users list would be would be users list It would be users list item. Yes, it it is better. But uh, friends, sorry, but friends do not do not hide for some reason. Uh, yeah, uh, I know why because uh, we didn't add this tab so it should work now okay so user one friend one messages timeline maybe safari will join us yes uh, so safari and list of all users so let's do the list of all users it's easy uh, List of all users would be just uh, select from users, and that's all. So, it's not check email statement. So we don't, we didn't need check email statement. So let's delete it. Users get friends list. Get friends list. Oh, see, we even had some, some get friends list uh, already. Okay, so get users list. Would be a scale statement. It would be 
just select not star for user of course because uh, if we select star we will not know the order so it would be select name and probably ID from user and if we couldn't prepare it uh, then we exit so we couldn't prepare get users list okay something was read check email statement is not yeah not need check email statement so select name ID from user <laughs> and get friends list would be select ID from user yeah that's strange but we will redo it so get users list would be probably a new type uh, Uh, no, it wouldn't be a new type of user reply because all replies are stored here and uh, they're not even defined anywhere, which is bad actually. And we should redo this as well. So, mm, but we will have a new type of request. So, request get, get users list. And we should handle this. So, sadly, we'll have to copy paste this code. Request gets users list. It would be in quotes. So, requested timeline. So, request users list wouldn't have anything so we even don't need to uh, yeah that's strange <laughs> so let's, let's specify something request get users list would contain for example limit and we should set limit here um, so request get users list we decode this and then process get users list and we will not specify anything now so like get user friends yeah get user friends is unused actually we just wrote it and uh, didn't finish so send error process get messages okay let's uh, do something like this we didn't receive anything and that's okay so let's get users list it is not max messages uh, but max user list limit so it cannot be less than zero limit must be greater than zero so we get get users list statement it should be called get users list statement. So yeah. Then it is just limit and nothing else. 
uh, cannot select users. And we reply get messages, reply and get messages and let's add a new one. So it would be base reply, yes, and some not messages but users. It would be user here. And it could be ch just user info, actually. So we should probably name our types so that uh, we could understand whether it goes to JavaScript and to the user or is it internal type. So that uh, we could understand that so not reply get messages, reply get users list. So that we could understand that, for example, replies always go to user, but user from user info you couldn't understand that it is actually JavaScript uh, user info. So you could say something like it is JS user info. And that is why it has ID string and not uh, and not uh, integer because JavaScript cannot handle 64-bit uh, ints properly. So max messages limits, yeah, max users list limit. We make statement new reply get users list sequence ID reply users list JS user info and uh, so here would be JS user info enter the statement its name ID so this user name and user ID so we can see that uh, at first for these simple queries there is a lot of copy-paste here but uh, don't worry uh, as your logic becomes uh, sorry as your logic becomes more complicated you will have much less uh, of uh, this type of copy-paste and uh, you will have different logic of course you will have different logic for getting users from a list uh, it will, uh, this logic would be different from getting messages uh, because uh, they are different entities and uh, you could for example add search or something like that to users list and uh, for messages you would have other features so at the moment it is uh, pretty similar but uh, the difference will become so it would be different uh, when you evolve and have more features they should be distinct okay so at the moment we just have this limit we won't have uh, we won't show all the users and we should probably have some ordering if we have limits then we have order by uh, okay so we can now send events let's see if it builds yes it builds so we can send query 
get users list and uh, receive an answer for that and uh, for at the moment we have this strange ifs and I think that uh, at some points uh, it should be obvious that uh, we should do something about this and uh, uh, we will in uh, some near future okay so process get users list we send reply here can decode request so we should just send it and uh, see what happens so when we load uh, when we load messages for user ID it should be yeah, show messages for ID and to, as you can see from this code it's not ready for 64-bit uh, <laughs> actually we we'll should we should do something about it in near future as well so is there two? Does it even work? I think it doesn't work. Timeline messages. Firefox. No, it, it does work. Strangely enough. <laughs> uh, okay, so. When a user first uh, opens the, uh, when user first opens uh, the users list, then we should uh, we should load this information. So something like when users click the users. <laughs> mm pain that's uh, so show current should uh, not only display this but uh, for example if loaders we have some loaders for this uh, tab then executed and we will have some loaders So that we don't have, uh, we don't make requests that are unnecessary. For example, we don't get users list before uh, it is needed. So loader for users list is uh, load users list, of course. We should see something like load users list is not defined. Why is not is it not defined? It's because we need to uh, load this main JS. Uh, no, we can't do this. So. We should add ourselves, probably, something like this. Yes, this is how we should do it. So, element is not found, users link. I don't understand why it's not found, but okay, so set up friends page, users link, authorization, 
users list link oh, okay yeah so when we have users and we show users and nothing is shown <laughs> for some reason even show it should even though it should so it's users list users list link I don't really get it or what I don't really understand what's happening anymore. So if we have loaders we called and it should be shown. No? Yeah, and the URL is different as well, so it's users list. Okay, sorry. So it's users list. And so if it is users list, then we load users list. So when we load users list, we send request. Request type would be request get users list. And request data would be limit like 50 and so uh, what we should do on receive on receiving we should do something so let's see how it's yeah it's reply so we'll just console log it first and then display it yeah, so it's uh, five users, five objects, ID one, two, three. Yeah, and uh, that's what we're going to do. So um, it would be something like get element by ID from users list sorry from users list I should probably restore the toolbar even though it's not really needed for us but uh, it's no it's not toolbar it's a navigation bar Even though it takes some space, but uh, I can use tabs. <laughs> so, okay, uh, users list. So we should clear it first. Then we would add elements. That's a users list item. So, users list item. will be document create elements div then we set class name to sorry uh, we set class name to users list item then we add text node text node with uh, not just reply but mm, what's the item in the reply so So it would be name.
it would be name and uh, we should also use ID so it would be something like it would be link that points to somewhere <laughs> that uh, should uh, uh, be actually a request of friendship add to friends Yes, and uh, then we add this UL item, user list item, to the users list, and uh, it should work. <laughs> Maybe not. Okay, let's uh, let's try to debug something. So do we get a reply from server? Yes, we do. Do we... Or reply users, sorry. So it's not just reply, but... Uh, it's users. We could rename it to... users here and uh, say that... actually users equals reply users and it should work yes so uh, we have the users list and we now have add to friend link and uh, sadly, it's uh, been a long time from the start of the episode, so we have to end here and uh, add uh, friends in uh, next episode. So thank you for watching and uh, see you next time.